beautiful people, welcome back. I hope everyone is having a beautiful day today, and I hope that you are as excited as I am to sit down and finally get to film this video, because for today, we are gonna be talking about your assumptions, answering your questions, and really just replying to whatever you guys sent me over on Instagram. Because last week, for anybody that missed it, let me just do a brief little recap. Uh, last week, I was over on Instagram in my Insta stories, and I was super frustrated because I had tried to film, I messed up my foot, which all of you guys know at this point, and, and if you don't, I fell down some bleachers, it was a good time. And a couple of you guys were in my DM saying, hey, Paige, why don't you just try to do a video that, you know, it doesn't require application. It doesn't require moving the camera. Like, why, why don't you just take off the pressure and just do something where, you know, you get to hang out with us, answer our questions. There's a lot of new subscribers and you haven't done a video like this in a really, really long time. Just to add an extra fun little layer, I myself actually do not know what these questions are. I haven't read them. Uh, I think I read like the first three, but you know, just because they were the first couple that posted. But uh, other than that, I have not read any. Before I get going too far into the video and get, get going too far ahead of myself here, um, I do like to take a pause at the start of every video and introduce myself for anybody that might be new here. Um, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Again, welcome to the channel. Um, I typically put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up right around like 7, 7.30-ish a.m. Uh, my time here in good old northern Michigan. So, you know, it's a bright early morning upload. And for anybody wanting to hang out with me more just in like day-to-day -day life, I would definitely, definitely recommend Instagram. Um, that is where I spend the majority of my time. I love to hang out with you guys in the Insta stories. I do unboxings. I do plus-size fashion. I do makeup IGTV videos. I do reels. I do little mini reviews. Anyways, with all of that said and done, which P.S. I had to take a second and adjust the camera because apparently my SD card was full, so that, that was super fun. But uh, with all of that said and done, like I said, let's get into the uh, the actual questions, the assumptions. And the first one I'm seeing here is sweatshirt. Where did you get it? And on the day that I posted this, I believe I was actually wearing um, a new shirt that I just got. It said Luke's Diner on it. And I will go ahead and make sure that I have that link down below because it is from Torrid and it is super duper cute. I really like it. Um, and I just, I think, I think it's funny. That's the first one I see. I'm like sweatshirt. Ooh, I love sweatshirts. Uh, but yes, I, it's really great. Super fuzzy on the inside. Um, and, and I got it from Torrid. So like I said, it'll be linked down below. Um, the next one here, just at random, it says, where do you see yourself in one year? Um, you know, weirdly enough, I think I still see myself in a very similar situation to where I am right now. Um, not, not in like a pessimistic way or because it's bad, but just because in a year I, I still see myself, you know, with my family business, I see myself still on YouTube. I see myself still trying to grow my Instagram, which by then hopefully I've hit 10,000 followers. I will say that. What I think what I'll do just to just to add to that a little bit here, I do hope that in a year I see growth and not just the kind of growth that happens in numbers or money or, you know, like, like life kind of stuff. I hope that in a year I see more internal growth because for a while, and I'm, I'm like I said, I'll always tell you guys kind of what's up, what, where my mind's at. Um, and for a while there, I didn't really do a lot of like growth within myself. I just, I quit writing. I quit caring about like photography. I quit caring about so many things that I like genuinely do love and enjoy. And so over the next year, I see myself um, growing in those areas because I finally started putting emphasis on them and started caring about things that I used to care about a long time ago, which is actually part of the reason that my Instagram has been going through a lot of changes. That's why I started doing like more of like the plus size fashion-y kind of things where I've been taking photos. It's really learning that it's okay to enjoy the things that I like. Like it, it's okay to love photos and to love fashion and to love, you know, show showcase that and making other people feel good about their bodies and making other people realize that it's okay to stand in front of the camera. Like for me, for so long, I felt like I had to stand behind the camera because um, that's I just felt like as a, as a plus size person, that's where I belonged. And I've definitely seen a lot of growth in that. And I think over the coming year, um, I do expect to see more growth in that. I expect to see more confidence out of myself. And I expect to see myself growing more internally. Like, like I said before, you know, obviously I'll be on YouTube, I'll be on Instagram, I'll be uh, at my family business. Business. I'll be doing all of these things, but more than anything, I think this is going to be a really introspective year for me to grow myself, to grow what I'm passionate about, to keep writing. Because uh, for those of you that don't know, I actually really love to write, and my goal is to write a book. Um, and uh, I, I see these things growing about myself a lot more, I think, than anything external. Um, so yeah, I guess that's my answer. Good question. Damn, that was a good question. All right, so now I'm going to go into one that I'm actually seeing a ton of times in here, and it's people wanting to know about my channel name, Seeking Alexandria. Why did you choose it? What's the backstory? And so for those of you that don't know, um, my name is actually Paige Alexandria. That's my middle name. And when I was younger, I used to say all the time that um, if my name was Alexandria, I would be better because I, I hated my name Paige. I absolutely hated it. I thought it was the worst name in the world. Um, and I used to always say that like, oh, well, if my name was Alexandria, I wouldn't be afraid of heights or like, oh, if my name was Alexandria, I would be, you know, smarter or I would be this. I could climb trees. I could da-da-da-da-da. Because as everybody knows, when you're a kid, you automatically,
automatically um you you put way more emphasis and value on words and like um you really almost create personas around certain things and that was me with the name alexandria like i i had this this person built up i mean she was basically a princess okay she was a princess she was courageous she was super smart she could do anything she was beautiful and she was all of the things that i felt i wasn't so now obviously fast forward you know all these years i'm starting this youtube channel um and for me when i was sitting down to name it it was really really important that i have a name that not only meant something to me like it, i wanted it to have real meaning but i also wanted it to be something that could mean something to other people like i, I wanted it to be something that i could share with the rest of the world so to speak and so the name seeking alexandria is i'm forever seeking the girl that i thought i wasn't like i'm always seeking that better version of myself you know the girl that could climb trees that was courageous that was beautiful and i am seeking that girl um just in the same sense that i think the entire world is always seeking the better version of themselves you know you're, you're always seeking that person that isn't afraid to take chances you're seeking that person that you know isn't afraid to do xyz whether it's on the inside on the outside uh what, whatever it is we're always seeking the better version of ourselves. and so for me seeking alexandria is me seeking the girl um that i was trying to be when i was a little girl it's always just seeking seeking that person that i didn't think i could be but ultimately obviously i can be because i'm sitting here obviously this is an ongoing thing you know there are times where um, you'll find courage and you'll lose it. You'll find this and you'll lose it. But the idea, the, the central concept is that no matter what, I'm always seeking Alexandria. I'm going to seek the person that I thought I couldn't be because I want to seek to be the better version of myself. Anyways, just to wrap it up here, because I just looked and realized I talked for 15 minutes, so I'll definitely have to edit her down. Um, but uh, yeah, essentially, we're just all seeking the best versions of ourselves, and I am seeking Alexandria, hence seeking Alexandria. So moving on to the next one, it says, I assume you're super confident. Um, I would say, I have confidence for sure like that. Yeah, I you know, I'm confident. I carry myself well. Um, but I don't know that I would say I'm super confident because I definitely doubt myself all the time. To answer your question, yes, I'm confident. Um, I'm confident in myself and my abilities, how I carry myself. Um, I don't know that I'm super confident, but I am confident and uh, I I'm also uh, confident that someday I will be even better than I am now. But it's definitely a learning curve, especially, you know, I didn't grow up with a lot of confidence. I grew up not really feeling the best about about myself and so it's all been kind of um it's all been a learning curve but yes I, I am confident just not super confident all right, so just so you guys know, you know, just in case it looks different, I did add a light up front here um, because it is like so dark outside, which, which obviously means it's super dark in this room. So I'm not sure if it's gonna help or not, but you know, we'll see. But you know, you don't really need to like see me perfectly, okay, just to hear the answers. Uh, but if it looks different, that's why. Um, Kira, Kira said, I assume you like to be a penny pincher and you can't resist a good deal and you like to go thrifting. Okay. Oh, <laughs> let me just pull up my sleeves. Okay. Um, I. I freaking love thrifting, okay? I love thrifting. Goodwill, Salvation Army, garage sales, girl, you name it. Facebook Marketplace, okay? Like, I am the queen. I love to thrift. Although I will admit, for me, look at me, I'm like getting all situated. I'm like, oh yeah, let's like, let's talk about thrifting. Let's talk about good deals. Um, For me, Facebook Marketplace doesn't have like the same... The, the same uh, allure for thrifting as like all the other ones do. And maybe this is just because I was born in like 1989, but I always in picture, like when I, when I imagine like my best thrifting days, I, there's something about having to like really wade through like tables and racks and piles of crap you don't need and push your way past like the, the 1993 fashion bug t-shirt and then the, the 1960s poodle skirt and everything smells like mothballs. And there, there's just something about um like that whole, <laughs> that whole thing. Um, um, that it just really does it for me. To answer the question, yes, I do love to thrift. I do love a good sale. I think for me, what I love about thrifting is threefold. Obviously, um, there's the price point, which is a lot lower, which is great. But I really, I, I think it's the other two things for me that do it. The fact that the, the stuff you find is way more unique, um, meaning like it's not currently sold. Like you can't just go over to Tord and get that same shirt. You can't go over to here and get the same thing. Like it really has a uniqueness factor to it that I freaking love. Um, and it just, I feel like for me, it makes the pieces that much more individualized, which is fun. And for me, the third thing that I love about thrifting is going to be really weird to explain. Um, but those of you that also love to thrift, you will totally understand. So you're just going to, you're going to have to verify and like help me out in the comments on this one. But for me, the thing I love about thrifting the most is that I feel like there are certain things that you connect with, like certain items that when you find them, it's, it almost, it like, it hits you in your soul. Like I find things like a sweater, for example, this is, this is a great example. Um, I was at Goodwill probably 
probably three-ish years ago, and I found a sweater. I still have it to this day. I posted it on Instagram the day that I found it, um, so I'll, I'll put a picture up on the screen, but I found this sweater, and the moment that I saw it, like, I held it in my hands, and I was like, <gasps> like, it, there's, it literally it spoke to my heart and soul, and I couldn't tell you where this sweater was from. I've never seen it before. To date, I've never seen another one like it. It was everything I wanted all in one. It had neutral tones, but it had chaos. It had all these different, you know, shapes and textures and designs, but it had um, also like this uniform feel. And I really can't describe it any other way than that. You know, any other way than to say, sometimes you find pieces when you're thrifting and you feel like you just found, um, you, you found an extension of yourself. Like you you found something that um, that you wanted, like, you, like your heart and soul wanted. Like it just checks all the boxes. And for me, that is why I love to thrift because I feel like I can not only shop, you know, people's closets from now because obviously, you know, people are going in and donating stuff all the time, but it goes farther than that. I guess a good way that I could also kind of spin this, you know, where it maybe makes more sense is that I feel like, and don't, don't get me wrong, you guys know I love to shop, I, I love fashion, like whether it's now, old, or whatever, I don't care. I, I love fashion as a whole, but if I go shopping right now at any store, pick a place, you know, you got more Reese's, Target, Torrid, whatever, for American Eagle, I don't care. Uh, but if you go shopping at any of those places, you are shopping the right now. What that means is that you are shopping quite literally the cut, the style, um, the, the trends of right now. But when you go thrifting, you're able to get that same thing, but it's it's like extended through all the decades that we've ever had. So you can quite literally go in and you can shop right now's trends. You can shop trends from the 90s, trends from the 80s. But ultimately, when you leave that thrift store, you can leave with a freaking corduroy skirt from the 90s. You can leave with a blazer that has shoulder pads bigger than my face from the 80s, or you could leave with like a regular crop top from right now, or, you know, 2019 to 2020, and all of it is going to be a good bargain. It's going to be things that you enjoy. And then even, you know, one step farther than that, you get to go and you get all of these weird transcended, like different pieces that are not of right now, and you get to take them home and, and give them a new life and give them new, new purpose, new meaning, and reinvent them into 2020. And I just, I don't know. I, I know, I know it's a long explanation, but I guess for me, the, the whole thrifting conversation, it's just, it, it's so much more than just, you know, getting a good deal. Like it's, it's more, it's more than that. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's all encompassing. Like it just, it, it's, it's almost like sometimes when I go thrifting, I guess is the best way to explain it. Like sometimes when I go, um, I feel like I get to learn more about myself and more about my style because it's not right in front of me. Whereas, you know, like I said, you walk into Target or Tord or any of those and they are going to tell you your style as of right now. But when you go thrifting, you get to rediscover that and like learn it for yourself. And you know, I guess for me, I never even realized until I sat down and just gave a 20 minute explanation, um, which I can't wait to edit this down too. Um, but I never realized how much, cause I've never put it into words, but I do, I just, I love thrifting and it's, it's just such a part of me. Like my, my, my mom and my grandma both raised me to do it. And, um, I think doing, you know, going thrifting and, and doing these things and kind of cultivating your own style, it really does create that feeling as an adult. Also, I just went ahead and I scooched back, like <laughs> away from the camera. Um, I'm trying to like adjust the, the white balance of it. Look, look, what is this? I don't know what this is. This is the, the white balance little shuffle, I guess. Um, but I'm trying to adjust it and I, I, I don't think it's helping, but you know what? That's fine. Um, let's just pick another question here. It says, who was your inspiration? Oh, this is good. Who was your inspiration to start a YouTube channel? God, I love, this is a great question. Okay. I think my answer for this one, it, it's, it's kind of weird because I didn't really have like a specific person or, you know, uh, yeah, person that was my inspiration, so to speak. Um, I would say it was multifaceted. So number one, as an adult, you know, obviously I grew up and I'm growing into my confidence and I grew into myself. Um, and I, I grew into my attributes and, and, and being able to hold my head high and be confident in who and what I am. But I always think back to the little girl that I was, you know, whether I was five years old, six, seven, all the way up to when I was 16, 17 years old. Um, I look back at her and I think there are so many things that it, it would have been so helpful to her if she could have had, um, an older kind of mentor or someone that she could look to that was like her, you know, you know, somebody, somebody that could have understood, um, being overweight, that could have understood depression, anxiety, um, like, uh, eating issues, stuff like that, because I, I grew up with those and more and, and all of it was inside of me. Like I couldn't figure out any, any way to, to make it make sense to the outside world. I didn't have anybody that I felt like I could watch or listen to. Um, and, and really, you know, growing up, it just in small town, you know, Northern Michigan in general, um, it, it's, you don't oftentimes find, um, people that are, I guess you could say like me. And so not only did I have that, you know, kind of pushing me towards, you know, wanting to do this, like I wanted a way that I could be there for those, you know, those younger 
younger kids, but I also really, really wanted to find a way that I could be there for people um, with chronic illness. And because that's something that especially, like I would say right around the time I hit 24, 25, I really started trying to find a way that I could um, connect with people, you know, a, a way that I could push the, the message and the understanding and the care and the love that, you know, your life, it doesn't end at diagnosis. Like j just because you go to the doctor and you get told um, something really, really awful, something that hurts, you know, you, you get an answer that maybe you wanted the answer, but you also didn't want the answer, like all at the same time. Um, I, I wanted a way that I could talk to and connect with those people. And so I guess for me, that's the answer. I just, I, I wanted, my, my inspiration was wanting to be there for other people and wanting other people to feel understood and to know they weren't alone. Um, and just, uh, yeah, I guess to hopefully encourage people that you, you can do, um, you know, you, you can do more than what even you think you can do more than, um, you, you can just, you can do more than what you know. And that's what I'll say. And that, that's, that was the whole reason that I wanted the channel. Also, just as a quick side note, I had to stop and reapply some gloss here. This is the Bite Beauty Cinnamon Twist Lip Gloss, their plumping lip gloss. And, uh, it's actually, it's really beautiful, but I noticed I had, you know, eaten it all off. So, um, I wanted to stop and apply this. And I also wanted to let you know that, uh, if you're looking or, you know, you're curious what else I am wearing, you know, any of this, you want to check it out. I will make sure everything is linked down below. Okay. But anyways, moving on to the next question here, it's, it says, are you a makeup artist? And did you go to a university? Um, I will tell you, I am a, not a makeup artist in any way, shape or form. I do my own makeup and that is it. Um, I, I do get asked from time to time, like, Hey, would, you know, would you do my makeup for this? I know you love makeup. Would you do it for my wedding for pictures? And uh, I always tell everybody no, because not only am I not qualified, but I'm also not good at it. And so I, I really don't think that on your wedding day, what you want is me, you know, to trying to do your eyeshadow and stabbing you in the face. Um, so, so no, I, I don't do other people's makeup. I am not a makeup artist. And then the second part of that says, did you go to a university, which I did go to a university. Um, but I ended up not finishing because I got really, really sick. I had to have an emergency surgery. And then by the time I got done with the surgery, done with all of the follow-up care and, and I started to feel good again, um, not only was I way behind on the college front, but we had already started our family business. And so instead of going back to college, I made the decision to go into business with my father. And honestly, for me, the rest was history. We, we've been in, uh, we've been in our family business now for, uh, over 11 years, over 11 years. And, um, I, I wouldn't have it any other way. My, my, my parents are both amazing. My dad is my business partner and he is, he is fantastic. He's an amazing, amazing, honest, righteous, just fantastic, smart fucking guy. And I, I love him to death. And actually, you know what? This kind of segues perfectly into another question. Why are you so private about your business and what you do? And this is a question that I do get asked a fair amount, actually. For me, the answer is pretty straightforward. You know, I, I've always viewed my YouTube and my relationship with the internet, whether it's here, Instagram, wherever, but my relationship is just that, you know, it's my relationship. I'm the one that chooses to put my own face out here. I'm the one that chooses um, to give you guys all of the information about me and, and to be open and to share um, so many parts of my life with you. And obviously I don't regret it. I love doing it. I, I honestly, it feels like um, more often than not, it feels like it's what I'm supposed to do with my life. Um, but at the same time, I think it's important to have the balance to that, which is that, you know, just because I made this decision to put myself on the internet, that doesn't mean that other people made that decision, right? Like that, that doesn't mean that, um, my dad made that decision or my mom made that decision. You know, other people, I mean, yes, my mom might come on here from time to time, but ultimately, um, they still deserve their privacy. And because the business is, you know, also owned by my father and it also has other people involved in it. Um, I don't think it would be fair to go into specifics about things that don't only involve me. Like, it's not just a straightforward case of, Hey guys, I own this company. Company. We make this hair clip. This is my company. Um, I'm the sole owner. I'm the only person that's involved, you know, so on and so forth. Because if that was the case, obviously I would be okay sharing it because at that point it would be just me. And so for me, that's the reason that w when it comes down to stuff that's just about me, I can share that and that's not a problem. At the same time, I will more than likely never talk um, on the internet about, um, you know, l like the specifics because where we live, what we do, what business we own, stuff like that, um, it just, it, it does involve other people. And so th those are questions I will never answer. Like, I said, for me, I'm pretty much an open book. You know, I'll share a lot, but just where other people are concerned, namely my parents, my family, um, I won't ever really talk about like where we're from, you know, or where we live, what we do, our business, stuff like that, just because I'm not the only person it affects. Also, by the way, there are so many questions in here about, um, dating. I think, I think my favorite one says, yeah, you, you've, I, I assume you've had many boyfriends. That's a great assumption. Um, and then another question in there, how's the dating life going? Um, you have a boy, there's another, you have a boyfriend, you're not telling us about, um, uh, lots of questions about the men. So, um, for this one, what 
what I'll say, and I think I've talked about this before, but um, on the, 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 the dating front, I, I got out uh, a couple of years ago, I got out of a really bad relationship that I was in for five years, and that relationship de definitely needed to end, and um, without going into too many details, again, all I'll say is that it was a really bad relationship. There was um, a, a lot of changing of who I was, and um, a lot of manipulation, and a lot of me losing myself um, in that relationship, and so coming out of it again a couple of years ago, I wanted to take time for myself and I wanted to get to learn who I was and to learn um, what what it was that I truly enjoyed. Like, what are my passions? Um, because coming out of something like that for so long, you really do have to um, kind of rediscover yourself, if that makes sense. Like, you have to um, really go back to the drawing board and say, like, what do I enjoy? Like, do, do I enjoy writing? Do I enjoy um, do, do I enjoy Netflix? Like, well, what is it about me? Um, that I actually like to do, like when I'm when I'm alone with myself and my own thoughts, uh, because what I found more than anything that I needed growth in after that relationship um, was just that, you know, I, I needed to find my confidence in being myself again. And so um, I, I guess all of that to be said, you know, it, it's taken me a couple of years to even get to a place where I would say like, yes, you know, I, I would consider dating someone. I would consider um, opening my, my heart again to someone, which at first I wouldn't even commit to that. Like I, I, I could make a whole video on, on this. Um, but after, after that whole situation, um, it was, I was to a point with, you know, men in general where I was just like, absolutely not. Like, I have no interest because I was convinced and I was in such a uh, mental, mental and emotional broken place. Um, I was, I was just convinced that no one could love me and that I was unlovable. And so, um, I really had to come to a place where I was, um, where I was not only able to say that I can love, but that I am worth being loved. And it, it sucks to say now, um, but I, it took me a long time to get to that point. Like that that's how low I was. All right, so really quick, I do wanna take uh, just a few minutes here, uh, cause obviously I've spent a lot of time on other questions, but I wanna take a couple of minutes and go through some questions that, you know, they're just like quicker, shorter, simpler ones. First one that I have is, will you be getting a PO box so we can send you things? And the first thing I wanna say before I even answer the question is that, whether whether or not I have a P.O. box, I don't want you guys to ever feel like you have to send me anything um, because I like I just you don't have to like I, I think it's really sweet that you think of me, um, but I don't ever want anybody to think that they have to send me anything. Um, but uh, to answer the question, I actually do think that I am going to be getting a P.O. box, which I know is kind of a big deal because I have asked you guys, I think at this point, two or three different times, you know, if you want me to. And I don't know why, but in my head, I keep always expecting you guys to be like, no, no, we don't care and people always care like you you always wish that I had one and so I think yes I think I am gonna be getting a PO box and of course as soon as I have it I will let you guys know um, and and at that time you know you you can send me things if you want to if you don't you don't have to um, uh, but yeah you can you can you know you you can if, if you want to God that, that that feels so weird to say just as a fun little side note because I know I talked about this too um, my, my local PO people this is I talked about this in a video how um, my local post office isn't exactly they're not exactly the friendliest people. Um, and so I mentioned that I don't want to use them because I, I, I don't really like them. And so I did a little scouting and I think if I do this, I'm going to go about three towns that away, which means nothing to you because you don't see where I'm pointing. But I think I'm going to go like three towns or whatever over there, um, over in that direction, because I, when I was doing my scouting and like I started asking all my friends, you know, all the business people around, um, and they all said that uh, this one particular post office is really, really sweet. The people are great and um, they're just, they're really easy to deal with. I guess the end of it all, y'all, is that I am going to have a P.O. box soon, so get ready, because here I come. I'm, I'm going to be finally stepping up into the realm of every other YouTuber, um, and I'm finally going to have a P.O. box, so get ready, because it's it's going to happen. All right, now the next one says, you're a strong, independent woman, and I don't know if that's an assumption or if that's just a statement, but either way, I'll take it, and thank you for it, um, because it does mean a lot to me, and I, I love that that is how I, you know, kind of come off. I like that that's conveyed, because it means a lot to me, especially coming out of that relationship. Um, it, it means a lot to me that I am strong and that I am independent because I, I always want to know that no matter what, I can take care of myself, I can take care of other people, and ultimately, just regardless of who's in my circle, the people that I love, I know that I can I can take care of them and I can always help them, and that is a huge, huge thing for me. I just, I, I like being, I like, I like being strong and independent. But to the flip side of that, I also know that you can't be too strong and too independent because then you push people away. And so, 
um, I'm definitely working on finding that balance, but you know, thank you. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take strong, independent woman all day long. Yes, please. Next one. Are you always 100 miles an hour when you aren't filming? <laughs> yes, I am. Ask, ask anybody I work with. Um, and yes, I'm 100% um, always 100 miles an hour. It's just who I am. It's how I talk. It's how I exist. Um, it's, it's probably why I fell down the bleachers. Who knows? Um, but yes, I'm always like a very quick pace, quick thinking, quick witted, quick, quick everything. Okay. I just, I like, I like to be, um, I, I like to be very succinct cause I hate wasting time. And so yes, I'm, I'm always a hundred miles an hour always. So the next one says, why don't you ever react or respond to DMS? And uh, that's kind of an interesting question because I, I do <laughs> react and respond to DMs. Um, I will say, to be fair, I don't always get to all of them because there's obviously a lot of people, but I do get to them as often as I can, as quickly as I can. Um, even just, I think it was last night or the night before, I sat down and I uh, replied to like 30 different people. So I just, maybe, I, I, I'm not really sure. I don't know. I This is a screenshot. I can't click, but um, I don't know if maybe I just haven't replied to yours specifically, but I do my best to go through them and to reply to as many people as I can as often as I can um but I'm sorry if I didn't you know do it with yours specifically but I do try I promise I, I try um as much as I can I just have I have a lot going on so I try to try to spread it out all right so I have two questions I'm going to answer and these are going to be my final two and the first one says would you rather create your own makeup line or clothing line and what vibe would it have and that is such a good question I think I think for me, I would have to go clothing line because uh, I, I do love makeup, obviously. <laughs> I think that that's painfully obvious at this point. I think for me, I would take a look at both of them and say, which one could I actually um, really contribute to the industry? And I feel like with makeup, there's already a ton of options. It's super saturated. And ultimately, like, people just wouldn't really need, you know, quote unquote, need my perspective on makeup. Like, I just, I think a lot of it's already been done. And quite frankly, there's a lot of people out there with way more talent than me that do it and I think that they do it very well. So I definitely think I would go more in the clothing direction um, because I know, especially, you know, given that I am plus size, I know that that's an area where I could make change. I could make people feel good about themselves um, and I could create, um, kind of like what I was talking about earlier, I would be able to create the change that I wish was there um, and within the plus size clothing realm, it's really, really difficult to find any cohesion. Like it's just, it's a really difficult space sometimes to navigate and so I I think um, going into that route, if, if again, if I were to pick one, I would say plus size clothing because as a plus size person, I've been plus size basically my entire life. And so I know not only what looks good on me, but I know what makes me feel good. And I think if you can find a way to, you know, package that and bring that to other people, I just think that you could have such a big impact on so many people's lives. Um, and so I think for me, I would definitely go in that direction. As far as what kind of vibe it would be, I would see everything from loungewear to casual to casual business like right in that sphere because I don't I, I don't really see myself designing stuff um, that people couldn't use all the time like that that would be a big passionate part of it for me is designing like everyday clothing that every day you get to feel good in um, so I definitely think it would have more of like that kind of a relaxed vibe but there would definitely be some pieces of it that were you know more business or more more structured because I think that um, that also really can have a lot to do with how people feel about themselves but I would definitely still say like some somewhere in that range because I think um, practically it would just, it would do very well. It would hit a lot of people and it would just, it would, like I said, it would really impact the confidence of the most amount of people. So I would definitely go um, in that range. All right. And then the last question I have is it says, I assume you have a lot of friends and that you meet new people and make new friends doing mundane tasks. And I am <laughs> is a hundred percent true. Um, I am that person. I make friends with everybody. I, I befriend everybody. Um, whether they're, you know, the, the McDonald's I go to all the time to get my Diet Coke, if they are at the Walgreens I go to, if they're at Meijer, um, it, it doesn't matter. I just, I, I love getting to know people. I guess for me, that pretty much sums up everything. You know, I just, I, like me, whether it's this, the YouTube, whatever, um, I just, I love people and I love getting to hear their stories. And I think we live in a world where um, we want to just glaze by the person. Like, yeah, they're, they're scanning out my groceries or they drop my apples or whatever. And yeah, everybody wants to be either skipped over top of other people or they want to just be pissed off at everything. And I just, I, 
I, I try to be a little different. You know, I still, like I said, I go 100 miles an hour. I have to catch myself too. But I try to remember that like the, the person, you know, checking me out at Walgreens, like they, they have a story and a life. And um, I, I want that, I want to acknowledge them and say, thank you. Like, oh, hi, you know, thank you, Susan. I, I appreciate that. Or, you know, hey, thanks. Thanks, Bob. I, I, I really appreciate that. Or, hey, thank you. Have a nice day. You know, acknowledging people and talking to them and getting to know them. Hey, how are you? You know, that, that really can go a long way. And so um, I guess, <laughs> I guess to answer the question, I, I do make friends and I, and people, I, I have people all over. Um, and, and that's just because I, I, I like them. You know, I, I love people. I genuinely love them. Um, and I don't think that you have to know people to love them. I think that you can love them and respect them just because their soul is there and it's in front of you. And so, um, I, I try really, really hard to do that. And, um, I definitely have, uh, you know, a lot of friends and a lot of love because of it. And I'm super grateful for it. Um, but it, it's, it is something that, uh, it's something that it, it changes the way that you view the world. If you ever get into that headspace and I encourage you to do it, um, it, it really can change the way that you view so many things. Anyways, you guys, that is it. That's the end of the video. I'm not going to make this long at all because this video has already been so long. I can't wait to try and edit it. Um, but don't forget, let me know down in the comments. What did you guys think? Do you like this video? Did you learn something new about me? Um, or do you just, I don't know, do you have anything else you want to say? Again, leave everything, thoughts, opinions down in the comments. Like I said, at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram, uh, which I would definitely really, really appreciate. And with that beautiful people, I thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.